Hello everyone and welcome to another video of the Sky Channel. Now this is going to be an event video for the cave exploration. But just before we start, I do want to mention that I did make an event video before for the Harvest Faircon event. And it seemed so straightforward, you know, I went through all the data, I created all those charts and it seemed like a very lovely video, you know, I went through the cheapest way to get those, uh, the, the ants or the insects. But then someone in my alliance was like, hey, you forgot to mention about the hidden packs because those hidden packs are actually a better deal than the ones that I'm recommending. I was like, what hidden packs? I don't know about any hidden packs. So it turns out there are packs that you can't see until you actually start buying them. So you buy a certain pack and then you other packs are revealed, which otherwise are not visible. So unfortunately, I had to take that video down. I did not want to be deceiving anyone, especially not my viewers. So unfortunately, I had to delete that video. But one thing I do want to mention is that, you know, a lot of the videos that I make, sometimes there might be a small change, you know, the game has updates or, or, or for any reason, there's been a small change that doesn't warrant, you know, a brand new video or, or just maybe i don't want to delete a video because it's still meaningful uh i will try to pin a comment on it so make it a habit to try to see if there's any pinned comments and you know what sometimes i may have made a small mistake and one of the viewers caught it or they found a way to do stuff better and this is for all the videos right and if they do i'd love to pin that as a comment as well so if you can make it a habit to check the video and also the pinned comments, at least, that would be amazing because you never know, you know, there are people that are more knowledgeable than me. And if they are willing to uh, share some information with us, I'd love that to also be something that we do take in mind every time we're watching the video. So that's something that I just wanted to cover before. So what is the cave exploration event? Well, essentially, you are going through this cave and there's a bunch of rewards that you can get on the way. And of course, there's these point rewards that you also get. There's these small ones and then there's you pass a certain amount and then you get 100 points. And of course, you need dice to uh, to essentially move forward. Uh, there's a bunch of ways to get dice and well you get three of them just from your activity points so i'm just gonna clear them right now and then well you can purchase them using packs and we'll get into more details about the packs and all the mats later but you can purchase them and then you can also buy some from diamonds so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna buy the ones that are there so now you notice that without any purchases i got nine dice for free okay so once you gather the points there's a point store which you can essentially use the points that you got to purchase items now my video is going to focus primarily on getting the either the big prizes or the small prizes or essentially the small prize because there's only one so the big prize is going to be something that costs six thousand as you can see there's the there's the skin and then there's the ants. And right now, actually, they increase it to three. I believe it used to be two before. Uh, that's what I remember. But now they're actually allowing you to buy three in one event. Uh, there's the seven star insect, also 6,000. And then there's the hard branch, which is also 6,000. And then the small prize, what I'm talking about, is a six star insect. Okay, so that's a little bit about the event. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the mats and we're going to try to find out how much it costs to buy each of these prizes and what are the uh, recommendations on um, which packs to purchase. All right, so let's talk about that. Okay, so first thing first, I do want to talk about how I got this information. So you can see there are four rows in this table two of them are the same person but essentially they sent me multiple data sources a third one is myself and the first one is lubu and what we did is that you know we recorded our purchases and we recorded how many points we got so using that 
we created estimates on how many points we can get per dice. You'll notice that there's also special dice included in these estimates. And for these estimates, I actually assumed special dice and regular dice to be the same. That's because you're essentially going to use special dice if you have, let's say, a resource chest or a crab spider or something that you want to get. And that can come fairly randomly right you could just have to roll a one to get it you could have to roll a six to get it you could have to roll any number so i'm going to assume that the impact of that is going to be very similar to regular dice okay so you can see that i'm the one who got the worst bang for the buck i got about 19 points per dice and the others they got a little over 20 but of course it's good to be a little conservative and we got a number about 20.2 points per dice so that's the first part the second thing is something that i've shown before you can get nine free dice per day which totals about 45 over the course of the five day event all right so now we're going to talk about the packs and see that gray highlighted thing that's the hidden pack as you can see, you wouldn't see this until you actually bought a select dice. Okay, so what I did here is that I put in the pack prices, I put the number of dice that you get, and by the way, keep an eye on that number of dice because moving forward, I'm gonna call it by the number of dice that it's providing. So there's gonna be the six dice pack, there's gonna be the 12 dice pack, there's gonna be the 40 dice pack, for example, right? So there's that. And then I also include the other items for the purposes of this video. It's not important, but you know, it's just, it, it's good to have. I also put in the daily limits. So you can see most of them are limited to one. There's one that's limited to two. And then there's that one that is limited to 10. And that's, that's an interesting one. You, you'll find out why. And then I put the price per dice, which is essentially the most important thing in this table. And then there's the maximum dice that you can get over the event, which is also fairly important to take into account. So what we're going to do next is we are going to sort this by the price per dice, as it is the most important thing. So we now have it sorted by the price per dice. And if you keep going down, you notice that there's a maximum dice over the event 2000 that's more dice than you're going to need, right? So anything that's below that, which includes the hidden pack, because we don't care about that anymore, we can just cut that out. So the only thing that's, that's going to be relevant is going to be the packs that are two th above the 2000 row. So cut out those last two rows. They're no longer relevant to us. Okay, so using this, we come up with a table to explain how much it would cost to buy these prizes. So let's go to the list of prizes. We already discussed this before. There's 6,000 for those big prizes and there's 3,600 for the small prize. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the small prize only, which is a six star insect. I'm gonna find out how much it costs. And by the way, in this case, of course, given that it's small prize only, we're assuming that it's also the first prize you're getting. Because as you'll notice later, as you continue buying more, things do get a little bit more expensive, especially because the free dice are being used as well. So there's a little bit of a boost there, but essentially we're assuming this is your first purchase. So the free dice are already getting us 909 points. Then we're buying the six dice pack and we're buying five of them, basically one a day. And that's getting us another 606 points. Then we're getting the 12 dice pack again, one a day. And that's getting us 1212 points. And you can see that we also buy the select dice because we're going in the order of cheapest to most expensive, right? So uh, we get that as well. We get one a day other than the last day. And you can see that gets us 80.8 .8 points. Now, you'll notice that I didn't buy any of the four dice back. And the reason for that is because the 40 dice back, you need to get that anyway. So that four dice back, getting five of them, doesn't really help in getting the small prize only. And as you can tell, 
we got 3,615 points. We needed 3,600, by the way, to get the small price. So that's a total of 179 dice. And price-wise, that's $129 to get a six star insect. Now I am not going to be too picky on not getting any of those four dice packs. That's because there's a lot of luck involved in this event. So I don't want you to be in a situation where you've ignored getting all those four dice packs and in the end you need to buy two 40 dice packs because your margin isn't really high. You know, it's 36.15. What if you're not that lucky and you end up getting 35.50 and you have to buy another 40 dice pack potentially, right? So this is, keep this for a reference. There's a bunch of luck involved. There's no way for me to know how lucky you're going to get. This is just, you know, something to keep in mind when you are doing your purchases that sometimes it might be good for you to keep a little bit of a buffer for you in case you end up being extremely unlucky. Now, if you end up being super lucky, well, you'll have some extra points to spare even after getting that small price. Okay. So that covers the small prize only. Next, we're going to talk about the big prize only. So you can see the maths here is fairly similar. Just that we increase the number of 40 dice packs. We actually reduce one select uh, dice as well. And the price comes up to be 278 US dollars. And we got 298 dice in total to get us 6019 points. Again, the margins are pretty small, so I'm not going to be too picky on, you know, hey, don't get more than three select dice or don't get any four dice packs for the same reason. You don't know how lucky you're going to be or how unlucky you're going to be. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go through a few other combinations. And why I'm doing this is because I want us to have a very good summary on how much each price is going to cost, right? So I want us to know how much the small price only is going to cost. We know that already. How much the big price only is going to cost. And how much each additional price is going to cost after we've purchased either a small price or a big price. Okay, so one small price and one big price, you can see that it costs a total of $500. And you can see the math here. You can see what which packs I have purchased for this. And what we're doing is also comparing to the small price only, the additional cost of the big price was $371. And compared to the big price only, the additional cost of the small price was 222 So you can see that the first price is always cheaper than the next ones. Partly because you are using the free dice in purchasing it as well. And the other part is because you are using the cheaper packs to buy the first prize. And then obviously, as you want to buy more prizes, you are going towards the more expensive packs. And then we do the same here. We go two big prizes and you can see that compared to one big prize, the additional cost comes out to be 372 and the total cost is roughly 650. And then what we do is two big prizes and one small prize. And the same comparison here, the extra cost of getting another big prize compared to one big and one small was 375. And compared to getting two big prizes, the additional cost of the small prize was 225. I did one more iteration, three big prizes and one small in case you decide to buy all three of those ants. The total cost comes out to be 1,243. And you can see the similar maths that I've done here that it costs about $368 to get the additional big prize after biting two of them. So I think this gives us enough data points to make a very good summary. The cost of getting the first prize if you get a small prize is $129 US dollars approximately. Again, it also depends on how lucky you are. So don't quote me on this. You could get it much cheaper if you're the luckiest person alive, or you could get a little bit more expensive if luck isn't on your side. The cost of the first prize if you get the big prize is $278. And on average, the cost of getting additional big prizes is roughly $375. US dollars. 
and the cost of getting an additional small prize if you've only been purchasing big prizes so far is roughly 225 US dollars. So that covers this video. I hope this was helpful for you. I know there's a bunch of math and if you don't like maths, you probably got a little annoyed at this video. But I hope that, you know, the summary really clears things up. I kept it as sharp as possible. So if you want, you could go through those tables and see which packs that I recommend buying. Keeping in mind that, you know, there is going to be a little bit of fluctuation. So it's always best to have a little bit of buffer. Or if you're a high risk, high reward type of person, you know what? Just take that risk and be ready to purchase one more one of those expensive packs. And then you can just get something else with it. Totally your choice. I hope this video was helpful for you. Let's do something, you know, if you are purchasing something from this event, do comment below on how much it cost you. You know, the more data points that people have, the more confident we can be that this estimate is actually really good. If you are good at math, you can also do the points per dice because I'm interested in knowing how many points per dice you guys are getting. Okay, so looking forward to the comments and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.